So we're here with Ian Bernardo, and I'm going to ask you, what gives you euphoric goosebumps and chills? Goose, goosebumps and chills about what, though? Because a lot of things can. The cold can, anger can, happiness can. So I want to know exactly what you're talking about. Like, goose, you talk about music or in general music? When I feel goosebumps, it's because, oh, let me think. I feel like the music talks to me, but I usually lyrics don't talk to me unless it's Madonna because Madonna's lyrics talk to me. I need like a good beat or I need something that reminds me of something. I'm Gen X, so something reminds me of like the 80s and the 90s when I was a teenager and then when I was teenager in the early 90s, like that's what brings me to get goosebumps. But right now I don't really like anything. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting bitter and old. I don't know. So I know you mentioned like Madonna and things like that, uh, but when you're getting those goosebumps those feel-good goosebumps where in your body are you feeling it um in my, am i feeling them you mean like sober right okay so when i'm sober where are we feeling them oh probably probably here maybe maybe here i don't know you know it's funny because i never think about the goosebumps i always think about if i'm enjoying it or not but the physical reaction i'm not sure i don't know sober wise i'm not sure that's a good question and then um so, like, how often do you get this type of feeling? Um, I count it as once every 26 days. I'm kidding. I don't, I don't, you know, I really haven't paid attention to, I don't really have a chart, but I'm thinking that I get it, I would say, on average, once every five years because I'm a frigid bitch right now. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not feeling the way I once did. I'm bitchy. I don't know. But I have not felt goosebumps in a long time. When I get a text from someone that I haven't spoken to in a long time that just that I missed and I was thinking about and it's just like that sense that oh they, they're texting me all of a sudden because I was thinking of them it, it gives me that that omnipotent you know I go back to that pre-verbal omnipotence where I where I believe that my inner world and the ex I had power over the external world and then we you know we develop our we go through maturational stages like the Oedipal complex and then we realize that we don't really have power over the world it's magical thinking is that a good answer <laughs> I don't know. So do you feel like, I know you mentioned like omnipotence and things like that. Do you feel like it's like a spiritual experience for you? Getting goosebumps is a spiritual experience. Um, getting paid is a spiritual experience. I don't know, but goosebumps? No, I feel like it's just maybe there's something triggering me that I haven't really internalized yet. And it's it's bringing back an unverb, a pre-verbal memory. That's what I would say. I believe goosebumps are a, the, our bodies expressing pre-verbal pre-language feelings so it brings us to an infantile state instead of having language we inter we our bodies become our language our somatic responses so i think goosebumps are a somatic response to a repressed memory thought feeling something and then you can look at it later on how do you think we could just like cultivate this feeling of goosebumps and chills throughout our life you can't that is a myth there will never be goosebumps throughout life. That It will happen once every 26 days if you're lucky. So there's actually this phenomenon called voluntarily generated piloerection where people can give themselves frisson and goosebumps. They can induce it. With an erection? <laughs> I haven't had one of those in a long time. Let me think. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, what's that? Um, I, oh, I need to take that class. I can spontaneously get goosebumps and an erection like that. <laughs> That's like, are they selling this? Is the learning annex still exist? Is that like at the learning annex? What is that? You can really train yourself to have goosebumps? Shh. Well, how do you do that? So basically, what I tell people is thinking about that thing that really gives it to them. So maybe in your instance, thinking about Madonna or those songs oh, and things no, like that. Doesn't give me goose. I need to listen to Madonna. It's not like I walk around and I think about like, I don't think about borderline. I'm like, Ugh. no, I have to just listen to where you said go to Madonna concerts. That's when. But I mean, also, I don't know. I don't, I, but yeah, so if I, so you're, what you're saying is, if I'm understanding correctly, if I think about Madonna, then I'll start to be all, uh, so I can train myself to be all, uh, oh, okay, so I'll take that class. I have to look it up online, a learning annex, maybe YouTube, I don't know, maybe, but I need to learn. I need to, I'm open to learning. I've always been open to learning. Yeah, so that's what this like focus of this channel is about, is actually to get people to feel the, the feeling. Um, sometimes they feel it when they talk about it or they think about the memories that brought them back. 
like nostalgic and things like that. Um, but yeah, I think like connecting to people, to art, to places that give you awe as well. Awe is a big uh, emotion that we feel like we can get goosebumps from. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about that? I'm open. Listen, I am all down for feeling positive. I, I need to feel good. At, so if that's a case, I will learn about it because I'm someone who needs to bottle that magic and walk around with it and maybe like take a whiff once in a while. I don't know, but I need to bottle it because I think it's important that we all are able to feel pleasure in whatever capacity is best for us. That's how I feel. And then I just kind of want to take you back to like your days with American Idol. Lord. Is that okay? Well, you know, that was so long ago. I did a lot of TV. I did more than just that. Um, I don't, that, it was fun. You know, I did what I had to do and it was, I, but it still lives on with me everywhere I go. It's like, I did that in 2000. I was on So You Think We Dance in 2006. I was on that in 2007. I was on Millionaire Matchmaker. I did all these shows. And then it's like, I walk around and people still remember it. And it's so crazy because that's almost 20 years ago. I guess I haven't changed much. I don't know. I hope I do change, but I, I always appreciate it when people talk to me because it means that I affected them in some way. I have a lot of gay people come up to me and be like, you were the first gay person, like young people, obviously. You were the first gay person on TV. I was like, really? Okay, I'll take it. Listen, I'm always ahead of my time. I'm used to that. So if I could help anyone out there, I'm glad I could with my ridiculousness. <laughs> I think you brought a lot of joy to people. You know, my mom and I really appreciate the stuff that you did. It was really fun. You, you brought a smile to our face. So I really appreciate your work with that. And I, I think it's really cool, you know? I appreciate that. And I want to wish you all luck in everything you guys are doing. And I think it's a great idea that we can bottle that goosebump feeling and utilize it whenever we need it. So I think that's a great idea.